explorer Noah Zora is a main combatant of the Straw Hat Pirates, one of their two swordsmen, one of the senior officers of the Straw Hat Grand Fleet, and is publicly recognized as the right-hand man of his crew's Captain Monkey D. Luffy, formerly a bounty hunter, he is the second member of Luffy's crew and the first to join it, doing so in the Romance Dawn arc. Born in the East Blue, Zora is the son of Tara and Rora Noah Arashi, the grandson of Shimatsuki Furiko and Rora Noah Pinzara, and the grandnephew of Shimatsuki Yushimaru, making him a descendant of both the Shimatsuki family of Ono country and the legendary samurai, Shimatsuki Ryuma. As a master of three sword style, a swordsmanship style which he created during his childhood training in Shimatsuki village, Zora is one of the three most powerful combatants of the Straw Hats, alongside Luffy and Sanji, who are referred to as the Monster Trio. His dream is to become the greatest swordsman in the world, in order to honor a promise he made to his deceased childhood friend Kyuina. In addition to his infamy as one of the Straw Hats and as a former bounty hunter, his sizable bounty upon arriving at the Seibadi Archipelago caused Zora along with Luffy to be included among the 11 super rookies, pirates who simultaneously reached the red line with bounties of over 100, 000, shortly before the summit war. He, the other 10 super rookies, and Marshal D. Teach would go on to be referred to as the worst generation. Zora gained his first bounty of Billy 60, 000 after the Arabus to arc. It later increased to Billy 120, 000 after the Eni's lobby incident, then again to Billy 320, 000 after the Dress Rosa arc. Following the raid on the Nagashima, his bounty was increased to Billy 1, 111, 000. Zora is a muscular man of average height with lightly tanned skin. He always carries his three swords along with him bundled up with a green haramaki over his right hip, allowing him to easily draw them with his left hand. Of the three swords he has on his person, he has always been seen carrying the Wado Ikimanji, while his other two swords have varied over time due to them being destroyed and subsequently replaced with progressively better ones. Although his right hand is usually seen resting over them, he can also use this hand to pull his swords out before sitting down. He has three identical gold earrings on his left earlobe. Zora normally keeps a black bandana tied around his left bicep and ties it around his head when he is fighting seriously against an opponent. Zora's body is covered with scars from his many battles, most notably the massive scar stretching from his left shoulder to his right hip that he acquired during his loss against the world's greatest swordsman. Dracul Mihook, at Barity. His other visible scars are the scars he inflicted upon his ankles in a desperate attempt to free himself from Mr. Three's Tokadai candle service set by trying to cut his feet off its little garden. After the time escape, he gained another scar over his left eye, obtained through unknown means. Zora's other remarkable feature is his cropped green hair, which Sanji often teases him about by calling him Marimo, Mossball. Moss head in the Viz manga and Funimation adaptations, due to its resemblance to one. Before the time S Kip similar to most of his male crewmates, Zora has the same outfit throughout most of the series. Before the time S Kip, he would consistently wear black trousers tucked inside black boots, a plain white shirt with three undone buttons at the collar and his green haramaki. However, only Zora's shirt varies from time to time in the arcs. During the Arlong Park arc, he disembarked Sanji's fishing ship neglecting to put on a shirt. After beating up most of Arlong's crew, he wore an opened, navy blue shirt decorated with light blue whirlpools that he stole from one of the fishmen. Since Zora received his scarf from Mihook during the Barati arc before the Arlong Park arc, Zora wore bandages that were visible underneath his shirt. During the Legtown arc, he acquired Sandai Kaitetsu and Yubashiri to replace the two conventional katana which were broken by Mihook in the Barati arc. During the Drum Island arc, Zora was bundled up for the Winter Island, 
but later stripped down after a foolish choice to swim in the frigid water on the island. He remained shirtless and shoeless in the beginning of the arc after getting lost from the going merry and left unable to redress himself, until he stole a parka from a man in Wapol's army, which was a hooded, forest green parka with a light green sash and white fur on the cuffs, hood, and hem, as well as a pair of boots. During the Arabus to arc, he wore an orange cafe with a gold chain on his head, a long-sleeved white coat with black lines all over it, and the bottom of his black trousers were torn above his ankles. During the Sky Pier arc, he wore his usual outfit in the beginning of the arc until he took it off after fighting a sky shark to save Chopper from being eaten. Afterwards, he wore a long, deep blue tank top and goggles strapped either on his head or around his neck which were later broken and discarded. During the Water 7 arc, he wore his usual outfit until near the end, where he wore an unzipped, bright yellow jacket with a closed pocket flap on each side. He continued wearing this outfit throughout the Anais Lobby arc. During the post Anais Lobby arc, he wore a black shirt with the Galila Company emblem on it in white. At the end of the Thriller Bark arc, he wore an opened, grey shirt. He also replaced Yu Bashiri, which was rusted away by Shu in the Anais Lobby arc, with Shu Zui, which was entrusted to him by the zombie of Ryuma brought to life by Brook's shadow. During the Seibadi archipelago arc, he wore an opened white shirt with red stripes. During his time at Kuregana Island, shortly after being sent there by Bartholomew Kuma, he wore an opened, dark blue shirt. Since Zora was critically injured when he arrived at the island, Perona patched him up, so bandages were all over his body. After the time skip during and after the two-year time skip, Zora gains a new scar running down over his left eye, which is now implied to be critically injured, as it is always closed. His frame gets larger, showing considerably more muscle mass, and his hair has gotten shaggier, while slicked back. Zora now wears a long open dark green coat closed on his waist that's held by a red sash, into which his three swords are tucked. His black bandana is tied around his left forearm. His coat exposes his bare chest, revealing his green harar marky underneath the coat. He has also grown noticeably taller, as he is similar in height to Robin. During the punk hazard arc, he wore a white furry coat for protection against the cold weather on the cool side of punk hazard which he took from Brownbeard's Centaur Patrol Unit. During the Dress Rosa arc, he wore a black suit and a white dress shirt with the top button undone. He also wore black sunglasses and a fake white moustache as a disguise. His sunglasses were destroyed in his clash with Admiral Fugitora. Additionally, he discarded the moustache upon his identity being exposed. After the battle against the Donquick Soot Pirates, Zora took off his suit jacket and unbuttoned his shirt, leaving his chest and scar exposed. During the zoo arc, Zora wore a dark blue t-shirt with his green coat and haramaki over a pair of long, black trousers and boots. During the Wano Country arc, Zora wore a white ukata with black details and a green cloud pattern on its bottom. He wore a dark green jits okuhuri with a man of a black sun over khaki gear and Z.A. Ringra with a black strap. Zora also styled his hair in the Chonmage style. After agreeing to allow Shu Zui to return to Ryuma's grave and remain in Wano, Zora was given the legendary blade in in exchange, which was entrusted to him by Kazuki Hiri, the daughter of the sword's original owner, the legendary samurai, Kazukiden. During the raid on the Nagashima, Zora donned a black version of his normal coat and a new bright red sash. He also briefly wore a Beast's Pirate's uniform created by Kinnaman, before he and Luffy were discovered by the enemy pirates. During the Egghead arc, after reaching the control tower, Zora changed into a dark full-body jumpsuit with the SSG logo on the side of the left thigh, with a dark coat, gloves, and a belt across the upper body to hold his three swords on his back, along with a pair of Dom shoes. Non-canon in the movie too. After the Trump pirates stole the Going Merry with his clothes inside, he had to wear a black kimono from a wedding store. Then he changes his clothes for an open black jacket, a white scarf, and black pants like the ones he normally wears. In the movie 3, 
He wears an open blue jacket with short sleeves, with a white line on the sleeves, short black pants, and still wearing his green haramaki, also momentarily. He wears an extravagant penguin costume designed by Usopp. In the movie 6, he wears black pants, and a brown shirt, which he later exchanges for an open white jacket.